everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with yet again another WWE action figure tutorial for you guys. Specifically today, we are going to be breaking down how to make an updated Roman Reigns Elite or Roman Reigns from 2020. Yes, we did do this video before, but we were making more of a promo style Roman Reigns. We kind of took like the, uh, you know, your basic Roman Reigns Elite and we turned him into, you know, the updated like Roman with the hair and the, you know, the Blue Universal Champion promo Roman Reigns, but he is smiling. You know, he doesn't have the pissed off look which I'm trying to work that out to see if I can get a different head sculpt made but him being pissed off like you see here in the middle but if you guys did check out WWE Clash of Champions 2020 you guys would have seen that the big dog oh my god you guys would have seen that the big dog looks a bit different right in his WWE Universal Championship match with Jey Uso he defended the championship and he has come out and he no longer rocks the vest he looks a little pretty much just the same but we are going to get into the specifics now if you don't have the exact parts and you don't want to do it the exact way I'm doing it. Very, very simple. You know, if you want to make an updated Roman Reigns and you have like an array of Roman Reigns elites, I mean, quite simply, guys, what do you have to do? You take your Roman Reigns elite, say you have the, the top talents right here. If this is good enough for you and you don't want to do anything, you can literally just take the vest off. And right there, there's your updated Roman Reigns. If you guys want to, you know, if you have the, the top talents and you just want a shirtless Roman Reigns and you don't care about the head sculpt and you don't care about anything like that, I mean, that's an updated Roman Reigns right there. You can end the video in 30 seconds. Just take your vest off. Doesn't matter about the head sculpt, whatever. There's your updated Roman Reigns. But if you want to get into the specifics and you want specific parts to, you know, have the right head sculpt, you want, you know, updated Roman parts, you know, you want the chest tattoo and the arm tattoos and everything to look exactly how it does in real life and you want it to look just as good as the real thing or as most accurate as possible, then stick around. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So for today, like I said, guys, there's a few ways you can do this. If you guys don't care about, you know, all the specifics and the, in, in the intricate details of the figure, then just take a brand new either Elite 68 or Top Talents Roman Reigns. Not the brand new 2020 or 2021 top picks, but the one that, that released before that's similar to the Elite 68, or it is the Elite 68. It's just re-released. Take that figure and just take the vest off, and there you go. I mean, that's that's your Roman Reigns. You don't need anything else. His gauntlets look exactly the same pretty much. They are painted on, but if you guys don't mind that, there you go. Very cheap and easy way to do it, and I'm sure a lot of people have Roman Reigns. If you guys have a Roman Reigns that has, like, colored gauntlets or something, just take some black paint and paint over it. There's another way you could solve that issue. If you have one that has red gauntlets, like the Elite 65, take that off and then switch it with the these arms. Switch the Elite 65 arms with these arms or paint over the red and black. Bunch of different ways you could do it, but I'm going to show you the guys the way that I would do it if I were to make it, you know. Since I'm going to be making the updated Roman Reigns today, I might as well just show you guys how I'm going to make mine because I want mine to have the updated technology, all the things like that. So if you guys want to do it the way I'm going to do it, here are the parts you're going to need. You're going to need the brand new Elite 79 or Top Picks Roman Reigns with the gold vest and you guys know the removable gauntlets with the gold on there you're gonna need that with the interchangeable head sculpt on top of this figure you're also gonna need either an elite 65 roman reigns head sculpt i'm not sure if there's any basics or battle packs that have had this roman reigns head sculpt but this is the roman reigns head sculpt you will need and you're probably thinking well brad that's an updated roman right now yes kind of but it does have the white it has the white details on the gauntlets and it has the white outsoles from the elite 56 roman i don't want that you know i don't want that to look that way so we're gonna make it look exactly how i want want it to and that's what we're going to do here today so we are going to need this figure first of all we're going to remove the blue universal championship and we're going to put that over to the side because we're going to need some parts from this roman reigns elite right here so on top of that guys you are going to need some acetone you're possibly going to need some black paint and you're going to need some matte mod podge and you're going to need a trusty white hair dryer so that or i'm pretty and a paintbrush you're going to need a paintbrush as well but let's dive into the process guys we're going to start off first with our base figure which is the one that i want to use today it is the elite 79 slash top picks figure that we just reviewed here on the channel. And if you really, really want it to be accurate, you want to have a Paul Heyman build a figure basic elite, something to go with your Roman. But let's get all these other Romans out of the way so I can break down the process as best as possible. So the first thing we're going to do with our Roman Reigns figure, guys, is we're going to pop the head sculpt off. It is interchangeable because this is the top picks and it came with two different head sculpts. So we are going to go ahead and pop this off. So we just popped off the Roman Reigns head sculpt. Here it is, the ponytail head. I've, I've actually accumulated quite the Roman Reigns fodder pile. Um, here lately, but let's go ahead and take off the vest because when you're heating up stuff, you don't want these vests anywhere around, guys. That is that is absolutely rule number one. But you guys can see here, this is why we want to use the Elite 79 or the top picks. Look at how good the tattoo looks. This is the best way the tattoo looks in any way. So if you guys want to make a super duper nice updated Roman, this is the best the tattoo has looked on any Roman Elite. So that is why I am using this one. The big dog is now shirtless, so you already got that taken care of. You already got the pants taken care of. The boots look good and everything. The only 
only thing that's holding this thing back is no head sculpt and his gauntlets have gold on them. I do not want the gauntlets in gold. So our next step is going to be taking our acetone and we're going to use it to remove the gold from these gauntlets here. And the only thing I don't like is that we're getting rid of the Roman Reigns logo on this gauntlet over here. And I'm not sure, I don't think I could paint over that in black small enough and detailed enough to get it to shine through. So I guess we're just going to sacrifice the logo and just acetone these logos off. It should get it completely off. The only thing I can say is that you're going to want to remove the hands and take these off because if you spill any acetone off of these gauntlets, like when you're trying to take off this gold and it gets on the arm, it's going to ruin your tattoos. And if it ruins your tattoos, you might as well throw the whole damn figure out because the tattoos are what make the big dog the big dog. So after you remove the gauntlets, we're going to get down here and we're going to use, we also need Q-tips. Don't forget your Q-tips, Brad. So we got our big box of Q-tips right here. We're going to open this up. We're going to take out quite a few, you know, not, not too many, maybe five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. Next up, we are going to empty out some acetone into the bottle cap because that's how I usually do it. Be careful not to spill it every John Brown wear. If you're under the age of 16 or 18, I'd recommend a parent help you. But now you're going to take your gauntlet like so, dip the Q-tip in there, and just wipe away the Roman Reigns text and the gold paint that is on your gauntlets here. And I'm pretty sure that's it right there. So I don't know if you guys watched Clash of Champions, but if you did, he had solid black gauntlets on. So that is why we're acetoning this paint off. Now we're going to go over to the other gauntlet on his right gauntlet here that he usually has the gloved hand on. And we're just going to acetone these off. Again, I really didn't want to lose the Roman Reigns logo, but I don't think we really had a choice. Again, I think it would have been really, really hard to, you know, just paint over that Roman Reigns logo. If you guys want to do that, you know, just, just acetone off the stripes. Just acetone off the stripes if that's, got, if that's what you guys want, but I think I'm just going to take it all off and, you know, we'll just deal with that. It sucks, but it is what it is. I just think that would probably be the easiest deal. And there we go. So after that, guys, you're going to take your acetone from your bottle cap and you are going to just pour this back inside the bottle because you don't want to just waste that or leave that out. So you're going to put that back on, screw that on tight, and move it to the back of the line. Make sure your vests are out of the way for this next step. You do not want your vest anywhere near your hair dryer because it will warp it and it will ruin the vest. So literally stick those things away from the hair dryer like 10 yards away at least and don't put them in the way of the heat gun. Alright guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to take those gauntlets and put them back on the figure. So we have our right gauntlet here and we have our left gauntlet here. Put those back on the figure and go ahead and plug your hands back in. Should be good. The only thing that sucks is these hands don't have the black peg. I wish they had the black peg. I know that the like hang loose hands do. For some reason these don't, but you're going to plug these back in so now you have your all black gauntlets, your all black pants. Now the only thing we're missing is the good head sculpt. So all you got to do is take your Elite 65 head sculpt or the head sculpt that's pissed off like this. I think it's Elite 56, Elite 65, and there may be some basic head sculpts that have it, but probably your best bet right there. Now you're going to take your hair dryer and you're going to apply some heat here. I'm just noticing there's no beard hair under the chin right there. That bothers me. I need to paint that, but we're going to heat this head sculpt up and put it over here on our uh, base for our Roman. All right, guys, let's see if this is good enough. Ah! All right, we got the head sculpt off, and now we're going to plop it over here onto the Elite 79 slash Top Picks body. And there we go. So that is your updated Roman Reigns, guys. You can see it there. The tattoo looks perfect. The head sculpt is the pissed off head sculpt. You actually could take it a step further. If you have a Dremel or, or you know, you could take a Dremel with like a, a more precise, you know, tip than this. This isn't going to work. But you could take that. You could Dremel off the sides right here and make that a fade. And then fade it into the beard like we did with our promo Roman over here. And, you know, you could do it like we did the sides over here. And that would make it more accurate. But for today, I am just going to keep it like this. And I think it worked out. I think this works out great. This is an updated Roman Reigns. You got the pissed off head. You got the black gauntlets, shirtless. All the tattoos look good. It's the best looking tattoos that have appeared on a Roman Elite so far. And you have the uh, rest of the Roman pants there. If he updates it at all, I'll change it up some more, you know? If he, you know, I, I know he's supposed to get new theme music. He may even change up his look a little bit more than this. We'll just have to see. I heard they're teasing the heel bloodline faction possibly coming true. I mean, MDT had that going forever and now he's kind of dressing like this in real life like he does 
as an MDT, so it's kind of crazy, but that pretty much does it. Uh, that pretty much does it for your updated Roman Reigns tutorial, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Again, if he updates some more, you know, we'll update him some more, but there you go. Universal Champion Roman Reigns, shirtless look, black gauntlets, pissed off head sculpt. Doesn't get much better than that. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, My Damn Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.